Genial disease is a manageable disease. Unfortunate uh, that uh, genital disease yeah, is becoming a serious problem, uh, especially nowadays and uh, especially during this season, the rainy season. Um, a, a reasonable number of animals have been lost uh, to, to genital disease. But well, I, I, I don't think uh, genital disease uh, uh, is something that should actually stop business, uh, stop people into uh, going into livestock business. Uh, genital disease is, is a manageable disease. Uh, with our experience, what we have realized is that most, uh, if you approach most people, most farmers who are struggling with the disease, you ask them, have you treated your animals? They tell you, yes, we, 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 we injected uh, uh, hydrate, we injected alamycin and so. Uh, it, got, it got us to, to learn that, you know, uh, improper diagnosis of this disease um, is actually a serious challenge around uh, the management of the disease. Where people, where farmers are supposed to give their animals uh, probably butacin uh, as the first line um, drug against the genital disease, they inject alamycin or they inject uh, hydrate. Right, so you, you have to check out for these symptoms. Um, uh, symptoms like uh, uh, struggling uh, to breathe, uh, animals lose appetite, they don't want to feed anymore. Um, and some animals we show to be heavily depressed uh, when they are breathing. Uh, so we call that uh, respiratory uh, depression. And of course, some animals will show excessive salivation where there's a lot of saliva coming down from the, uh, from the mouth. And um, some will be, having, will be tearing, tears down their eyes. Um, and of course, the animals will be reluctant to, to, to move. They just want to lie down. And some animals will quickly lose uh, weight. Those are indications that, that show the farmer that uh, your animals probably uh, have um, a genital disease. So the earlier you're able to diagnose these symptoms, uh, the higher the chances that your animals will recover um, uh, from the disease. So how do you treat uh, your animals um, against uh, genital disease? Uh, so, um, as a first uh, uh, rule of thumb, we say you have to give your animals both oxytetracyclines and your papa vacon, which is your butakim or your buta alex. Uh, now, in terms of the dose rate, uh, for the oxytetracycline, we normally advise you to use the, the short uh, actin, which is your copamycin. Uh, you give it to one mil uh, per 10 kgs. That's the dosage rate for uh, for the oxytetracycline oil list for the papavacon, which is your butacam uh, or your butalex, it's one mil uh, per 20 kg. Sometimes when the disease is too serious, uh, you can give it at one mil per 15 uh, kgs. So what happens is the first day you are giving both um, papavacon and your copamycin. Now on the second day, uh, you repeat uh, the oxytetracycline, which is your copamycin, and you skip uh, the Baba Vacon, which is your beta chem. Uh, on the second, on the third day, you are giving again uh, both uh, the beta chem and the copper mycin. Um, uh, the, the dose rate remain, uh, actually remains the, the same. So if you check, you will notice that uh, for three days, you are giving uh, oxytetracycline consecutively, uh, while it's the, uh, for the beta chem, you are giving the first day, then you skip the second day, then you inject again on the third day. With that uh, treatment regime, we expect your animals to actually recover into the fourth day. You should see uh, some significant improvement on your, animal, on your animals. If your animals show some signs of uh, improvement, but still probably after a week uh, or into the seventh day, they haven't fully uh, recovered, uh, you can again repeat uh, both uh, the Babavacon and your Oxtetra are cycling. If you follow that uh, properly, uh, after a week, your animals must actually must have um, recovered. But you, in doing so, you also support your animals by giving them uh, the vitamin supplements. Uh, there's more vitamin complexes, a uh, lot of them in the market. All I advise our farmers is 
every time you are using these drugs, always uh, read uh, the pamphlet inside uh, uh, the drug box because you know sometimes these drugs come with different uh, dose rates, etc. So it's a principle that every time you are using a drug, read what's the instruction, uh, the injection instruction or the administration uh, instructions. You're giving your animals your multivitamin supplements to assist them. At the same time, you're also giving your animals a palatable feed because normally uh, the animals lose appetite and they don't want to feed. But if you add a bit of molasses into the feed, it becomes more sweet and palatable and it encourages your animals to, to feed more. If you do that, you also don't need to expose your animals to too much um, you know, sunlight where the temperatures are high. Try as much as possible to push your animals to where there's uh, shade. Uh, don't stress them too much by probably just beating them, moving them around or so. Allow them to settle where they can rest. In. They're having uh, more feed. You're treating them and doing all those things should be able to assist your animals to recover quickly and nicely. Right. So how best do we prevent our animals from uh, getting uh, genuine disease? Uh, there's no one or two about it. The best and the most effective way uh, to safeguard our animals against you know, genuine disease is by dipping. We have to thoroughly be dipping our animals, especially now uh, during this rain season. Principally, we say you have to dip your animals a weekly or on a weekly basis. And if you see that sometimes it's not killing all your, the ticks on the animals, we even recommend that you can dip your animals after every three days. And be on the checkout uh, on the tick hotspots, which is uh, some, uh, mainly under the legs, between the, uh, the legs, um, uh, the front and the rear legs, and also in the ears and also under the tail. How do we manage ticks that normally hide there? We can put uh, the tick grease. Uh, the different forms of uh, tick grease, it's important that we apply them there uh, to deal with those um, um, ticks that normally hide there. And also when we are spraying uh, our animals, uh, it's important that we know how we do it properly. You start from down upwards uh, and we say uh, the animal should be completely wet. Uh, principally we say five, um, uh, the knapsack, five liters must actually dip one animal after you have sprayed your animal it should be uh, it should be weight total weight especially when you are using uh, the knapsack uh, for, for for some who have uh, maybe more than 100 animals we also recommend that you know you use nowadays this what they call uh, this portable spray this is uh, they are powered um, so the water comes in with a lot of pressure and that allows your animal to fully weight itself when it's uh, passing by um, and if you happen to have animals that are more than 300, it's even, it becomes economic as well to use our plunge dips. I think it's the most effective uh, dipping system because the animal fully mazes itself into, into the water. Uh, that's what we want. Um, then we support that with putting, uh, applying tigris in the ears under the tail, uh, between the legs, all those uh, tip uh, hotspots. And also, just to be, be on the watch out, uh, you're using a specific, uh, probably a certain type of dip. Check if the ticks are dying. Uh, sometimes there is a tendency by certain tick species to actually develop resistance if you continuously use probably one type of dip over, over time. So you need to be monitoring that. If you see that probably my ticks are no longer dying, if I'm using this uh, uh, card site, you, you can actually try rotating them. It's, uh, we recommend uh, rotating. Uh, the different um, card sites we have in the market. Uh, the most common one is your Tritex. It's quite effective. Uh, Tritex, your Super Deep. Uh, we have lots of them. They are quite effective. And that's the best way of managing uh, genuine disease among us to these other tick point diseases. Prevention is better than cure. Let's dip our animals um, once every week or even once after every three days.